it's very difficult to assess the IQ level. But generally I try to find out the sincerity level in the other way because IQ has been already tested before you guys entered here. Uh, I expect little more sincerity for DIC. Yeah. In general, see, in any of the classes, 20-30% student will always be sincere. But at least in a class, 70% students should be very sincere. That I am not getting. And it's same for last two years as well. Sometime I feel, I can tell you about this, our chemical engineering DIC. Uh, we need one industrial visit. That used to happen, but again we are trying to do it. At least for your batch in the next semester we are going to do it. But there should be one industrial visit so that you can have the idea of order and magnitude of industrial scale equipment and all these things because the course is about material and energy balance. So for which equipment you are going to do that, you should have a clear idea of those. So I think some visualization based things can be done. Other thing is that I feel few videos and all these things we can show. But the course is not that heavy and it was intentionally designed not to be heavy to me because 20 to 30 percent uh, part of the courses already have been taught in pre-JE. Okay. So it is something like we want students to learn with fun, okay, not under pressure always, because that is how you can explore new things. Okay. I mainly work on turbulent flows, turbulent suspensions. It's very difficult what it drives me but one thing is that I am hardcore chemical engineer okay so there are a lot of application of such areas uh, in chemical engineering field though I generally do not directly uh, address the application at this moment mainly I'm restricting myself to the fundamental research but uh, this area is having enormous application in chemical engineering uh, as a whole It's very difficult for me to answer this question because it is from student side. Rather, I can tell what I expect from a freshman. Okay. But obviously, if I consider myself as a student, I will always uh, think of one environment where education will be free. Means, see, uh, it's not that always your instructor or faculty advisor will pressurize you to learn something. Then. Uh, you will learn and you will forget the things, okay? There are different ways of learning. One learning is just before the exam, okay? Do it and pass the exam, get a good score. Other is uh, learning. So for learning, you have to be very consistent, very sincere throughout the semester, okay? In that way, but your faculty should advise you and you also in the other way should accept the faculty's faculty advice. Uh, so that your learning is proper but i think uh, uh, is you students should not be always pressurized for attending the courses and all these things but again in the that way students should be mature enough to accept that okay. so their stay should be uh, of very good quality i don't think iit bombay is equipped with that Okay. Because you can do, you can participate in the sports, you can participate in the music and all these things. Those are required. Uh, so I think those are available in our institute. I don't believe it is true. Uh, because there is a separate uh, chemistry department for that. Our couple of courses uh, may have some similarity with the chemistry, but it's not true as a whole. Because we are having some subjects on reaction engineering, 
they, that is having some link with chemistry but we do much uh, uh, different our course content is much different it is mainly based on mathematical modeling of chemistry or chemical reactions so it's quite different in that way See, it's independent, individual choice, uh, it's very difficult, but I feel our students should pursue higher studies. It is happening, each badge I can tell you in last four years of experience, I have found that at least seven to ten students are going, but the numbers should be high. At least from each badge, we expect that 30 students should go abroad, or they should pursue the higher studies. Uh, job is also fine, but the thing is that it should match with your interest. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, either survive there for long or you won't be able to accept uh, your profile there. Uh, I found there is some drastic change, probably it could be due to generation. Few changes are acceptable, few comes automatically and with time those smears off. Uh, but overall, uh, probably sincerity level could be little higher in the classes and uh, that could help the student, I think. That is what I was saying continuous learning process throughout the semester it could be helpful because if you are uh, sincere or serious in the class at uh, class then you don't need to spend much more time on the subjects when uh, off class so then you can solve the problem and you can do other things but yes overall i feel even if i discuss with my colleagues uh, i could say their opinion as well it has probably decreased a bit uh, but again it is uh, individual's choice uh, but I think sincerity should be little more in regard to attending classes when your uh, attendance is not compulsory. So that is real test of your uh, intention towards learning. So that, that we have to work out. I think student, faculty both can work out together where are the things uh, but there are a lot of other influences like uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, all these things uh, that probably we should work out yes. at least in the class those things should be little restricted. I used to enjoy a lot I was not that sincere in the class, probably during my VTech days. So, sometimes uh, people suggest that what you do first, uh, like something, if you want to advise someone something, then you should follow it. But I, philosophically, I am in the other way. If I do something wrong, in that end, probably I like to advise because uh, that is the mistake. As not that serious, uh, it could be better if I would be little serious, but I used to enjoy with my friends a lot. And But again, during the discussion with my teachers, I was very serious that I could think uh, because um, I could remember before joining PhD, I asked my professor, BTEC professor, Professor Parthara, that um, I'm not being able to decide whether I should go for a PhD or not. What could be the criteria to think of in this end? He told that if you think PhD is a passion, then do it. But if you think PhD is a fashion, then don't do it. So uh, really I, I, I had such good mentors in my academic life who encouraged me a lot and these things. And with my friends, I always used to this cricket match and all those things which I used to enjoy. Yeah, mm. but it was, I think, little balanced probably.
when they join here, put the, the student search, tremendously pressurized for JE preparation on these things. When they come here, it is a completely different environment uh, because they are out of their home or out of their institute where they are under coaching. So then there is a drastic change in environment and atmosphere. So for that, it takes some time to be habituated with the new culture, new activities. But my suggestion is that they should be still very serious towards their academic. Okay, with that they should pursue uh, the extracurricular activity. But they have to find out what means. They have to keep their competence level in their main academic streams. Okay, students should not be frustrated and all these things if they are not qualified for some extracurricular activities. I have found many times that they are very hopeless. They are very uh, distressed and frustrated not to be qualified for some leadership things in as extracurricular but yeah extracurricular uh, activities are extracurricular activities so your curricular activities should should not be harmed for such reason but yes they should do obviously extracurricular things they can do anything like participating in music hostel activities sports and all those things are there uh, but again after joining if they are not doing good in their uh, academic things they should always discuss with their faculty advisor they should approach there and they have to try they have to try to find out what is the wrong behind that because uh, it's a very young age when you are coming 17 18 years so if something goes wrong and the student um, try to suppress it then ultimately in long run it will hamper their career and mental stability also. So they should try to rectify it at the beginning itself and student community is having a major role in this. Okay, so um, Some caring attitude should be shown to the students who are lagging in their academics because every student is good. Okay, Only um, difference in motivation level and all these things makes the difference what I found. So I think uh, they should enjoy through their academics. That is what is my suggestion is. Mm.